Hello everyone and welcome to another Catastas video. Uh, today we'll be talking all about event dispatchers, the things that sound really crazy and scary but they're really not. Um, I've had a lot of questions about this one so I thought I'd smash this one out of the park while I've got a few moments. So let's just get started. Um, I'm using the third person example uh, content for this, um, the template rather. Uh, I've literally just created a uh, what I'm calling a fire pit which is basically just a cube that's got a black material on it and a, uh, a, a box collision on top um, and then I've gone into the third person character which you can do by either finding it on the right hand world outliner and then clicking edit third person character or alternatively, uh, alternatively you can find it in your content browser so let's go to the world outliner and click edit third person character what you can see here is I've created a custom event called I have been hurt where we're checking a bool or a boolean called uh, I am already hurt if it's false we're going to set it to true um, so let's carry on from here so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to create a widget blueprint and call it UMG HUD very simple and we're just going to have a let's have a progress bar and we're going to put it in the top left make sure it's anchored in the top left let's have it all actually no yeah let's pull it all the way here and have it centered to the middle just because and we're going to scroll down to percent and then we're going to click bind create binding so we're going to get we're going to create two new variables one called current health one called max health and we're going to set them to type float there we go and then we're going to compile and save we're going to set max health to 100 and save and current health to 100 as well awesome so now that we're in the uh, the get percent bind thing that we've created we're going to drag in the current health gets max health get and divide them to get a value between 0 to 1 which will create our percentage connect all that up compile and save let's test that out quickly to make sure I've done it well so let's go to blueprints open level blueprint begin play so when the game starts create widget so create our HUD and add it to the viewport awesome let's give that a quick go as you can see the bars filled up all the way because 100 divided by 100 is going to be 1 so that's maximum health awesome so going back to the UMG HUD we're now going to go to the graph and you see here there's event dispatchers awesome so we're going to call that health has changed okay and then we're going to go down to here actually no we're going to leave inputs for now we'll do that again in a moment so we've got health change just click it and drag it into your uh, blueprint comes up with a few options now you've got two things you can do for this kind of tutorial you can either bind or assign um, assign is going to do exactly what we're going to do now but if you can't wait just click assign but for now we're going to click bind so now we've got a bind node so this basically means listen out for when someone says health has changed so we're going to connect that to the construct so that basically means when this umg is created listen out for health has changed from now on um so we're going to grab this little red pin here and type custom event and call this change health awesome so this basically means when the umg is created right listen here we're going to listen to health has changed now and if someone says health has changed we're going to fire this event okay awesome so this event simply going to be get current health minus 10 so minus float by float 10 oh 10 and then set current health connect that up like so awesome so what we're going to have to do now is go to the third person character no nope, that's a, that's the map go to the back to the third person character okay so where it says i have been hurt what we're actually what i haven't thought of actually is for this example um when you've gone into here and created it and added it to the viewport in the level blueprint 
we're going to actually drag from the return value and promote this to a variable and call it umg okay you'll see why in a moment I'm just going to make it look a little nicer there we go and connect that up that way instead there we go just so it looks a little nicer so basically when games start it create your mg add it to the viewport and this is how we'll talk to the mg um just for, in case something goes wrong so now what we're going to do is go into the scene and click the third person character and then right click create a reference to the third person character so this means that we can now talk to the third person character and we're actually going to go into the third person character blueprint go to new variable variable type and type in the umg name you'll see it pops up here so just click reference don't worry i'll be explaining everything we've done in a moment umg hud there we go and uh what we're gonna do is we're going to see where it says set umg we're uh, going to go to the third person character in the level blueprint now that we've added that and type in set umg so set umg hud and there we go so that means we can talk to the umg that's been created which is obviously very good for what we're going to do um basically what we're going to do is now go create another begin play event but add it to the third person character and we're actually going to leave a little delay so add a delay node the reason we're doing this is in case the level blueprint gets there before we do um oh actually no we'll do that in a moment that that's unneeded um sorry about that <laughs> this is the problem of doing these all live so what we're going to do is where we've said i've been hurt and we're checking if it's been hurt we're now going to get umg hud and then we're going to call change call health has changed there we go this is just one example and then once that's done we're going to set i am already being hurt to false so they can be hurt again actually no we'll leave a delay here sorry so delay 0 0.2 there we go awesome so basically where's the umg gone basically we're listening out for health has changed so when the player is being hurt we're going to check if they are they're actually already being hurt and if not we're going to tell the umg that we're being hurt wait to 0.2 seconds and then let us be hurt again and um, this sounds a little confusing at the moment but it will make sense in the moment so in this fire pit let's open it up it's level blueprint and see where it says begin overlap that's awesome so from the other actor pin let's go equal object and then get player pawn and then branch and then from there we're going to get to other actor again cast to third person character there we go and as the person character i have been hurt brilliant so basically what this is doing is someone is touching me is it the player yes it is okay so cast the player and tell them that they've been hurt let's see if that works so see the health bar at the top there we go we got hit a bit and again and again and again and again and again etc 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 so how does that work so basically what we're doing is we're telling the third person character we're telling it what umg to use and then in the third person character we're we're basically shouting to the high heavens that health has been changed okay and we're we're telling umg hud specifically that health has been changed but you can bind multiple events or multiple things to the same event dispatcher so you can tell multiple things to fire off at once but we're very simply just telling the HUD that the health is changed so that the HUD is hearing oh the health has been changed so it's gonna fire this event and um, there's plenty of other ways you can do it and you can do even cooler things like for example let's get rid of this code and um, let's get rid of this change health and actually create an input so click event dispatcher and create a float input and call it new health 
there we go and then from this pin again custom event call it let's call it mu health why not there we go and then set so dragging current health and set and then plug those two in together so what we're going to do now is go into the third person character and we're going to create the variable current health and we're going to set that to float uh, we're going to make some room here so we're going to get current health minus 10 and then set current health and then plug it into the new health so basically what is happening now is we're told we're being hurt um, I'm already being hurt no I'm not okay tell for now don't let me be hurt and set the current health to 10 less than it is now and then tell the UMG the current health to use then wait 0.2 seconds and let us be hurt again so let's give that a go awesome so let's play oh that uh, I uh, I believe I wonder why that's happening um, it's current health maybe 10 was too much is it one we should use current health oh current health zero there we go there we go so then when we do it there we go awesome so basically you can probably see how this can be actually really helpful you can attach i don't know a reference to another actor you can attach a float ball anything really and you can basically talk between actors obviously for this example i've used the uh, level blueprint but this is really handy for not using a level blueprint um say for example you wanted to tell someone about this umg you could create it in a third person character and then uh call somewhere else telling them which umg to use and all that other good stuff so i ho hope this has helped in some way to someone i know it was a bit of an extended kind of tutorial but if if it helps that's awesome if you've got any more questions then just drop a comment send me an email all that good stuff and i'll be sure to help out however way i can um as always like it comment it whatever whatever this youtube kind of stuff is and uh i'll see you around for the next kind of tutorial have fun everyone peace out yeah.